Good morning, everyone. It's Kaiba on the Renegade. I'm back here with more Elden Ring, but I can only level up through invasions. And today, we're going to start right out with more invasions, as we do. Because, you know, they're heckin' fun and stuff. I think we got like three or four levels last episode, something like that. Because we had a couple of high-level phantoms. And we're finally in a good position to actually make kills on them, which is nice. Because between the rot and the poison, we can do substantial enough damage to not really have to worry about it. Where the heck? They might be down by the sewer entrance. Oh. Hey! Do I have anything with kick? Oh, I totally don't. What's up, homie? Almost got it. Well, oh, he's alive. Hey! Well, I guess I'll come down then. What am I hearing? Seems like a fine battleground for us. Oh, so close. I really 
really thought you were about to run in, my dude. Really out of FP. I gotta settle this soon. Can I fucking wield? I can. Wait, I'm out of FP though. Uh, I don't have a darn. Oh well. GG. You actually would. The tea bag is not what you think it is right now. All you did was out heal me. Yeah, I like the Nagaki, but but I don't think it likes me. <laughs> I gotta put some of this stuff away. I've got so much crap I can't use. Yeah, unfortunately, where our arcane just isn't very high, it's uh not looking like that's something we're gonna. You know what? Let's go to Renala. Actually, I wanna. Well, hang on. I, yeah. I want to bring my faith down to 12. And, um, we'll put the rest in an arcane. There we go. Right, we're not able to cast those dragon miracles anymore, but that's fine. We'll take that right off. And I actually want vitality to be first, then this, then this, and we'll go for that. And we can do this, actually. You know what? Fuck it. Might as well. Could be a good option. Speaking of that, what cool are we? 49, so we're... What the? Are you serious? I can't quit out. This is some bullshit. I guess that's what happens to blues when they just randomly die. Where the hell am I? Yeah, Elden Ring is not free of jank, boys and girls. Not free one bit. So in this playthrough, we've killed at least around a hundred phantoms, which is pretty awesome. Hey! Hello, boys. Hello. Good morrow to ye. Whoa! That actually bled so fast. Yikes for me. Fuck. Jesus, that's literally like one hit and it bleeds. Alright, good, I dodged it. Fuck, I'm out of stamina. Why? You would. That guy must be so fucking overleveled. He didn't take shit for damage through that engagement. I get that this entire playthrough relies on overleveled phantoms, but I'm not gonna lie. It's really, really weird to me that overleveled phantoms are even a thing, because they weren't a thing in Dark Souls 3. Like, you couldn't. Son of a bitch. 
horse while I'm fucking talking. Uh, you couldn't summon someone who was too high a level, even if they were your friend. And that made sense. <laughs> I, I guess it's kind of occurred for the convenience of it, but like, the convenience of one party shouldn't outplay fairness for another, you know? That's literally how basically most problems come about in the world. Some people choose convenience over other people's fairness. The capital. I don't think they're coming this way. No, they're down. They're down here. It'd be nice if one of you jumped off and the other stayed behind. Like that. No, you're serious. Oh well, at least we got a kill, I guess. And even that host was worth more than 2,000 souls, so... Really? It broke again? It actually did. What the fuck? It's twice in a row. Like, I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to spam these back and forth to make your invasions come more quickly. I, I don't think you are in general, but fucking... It's nice that you can. It's really nice that you're able to invade entire areas. Or the entire game, basically, instead of fucking just areas. I still can't believe this game launched without that feature. No way! Did it actually break a third time? It did! What the fuck? And that's, I'm pretty sure, the first time I've ever seen it break three times in a row without getting an invasion. That's weird. Why was everybody playing at lunchtime and I was getting invasion after invasion, but now... There we go. Jeez. Now it's like 420. Oh, it's 420, that's why. Everybody's smoking their pot. Duh. All I've got is resin, so I'm gonna hold off until after this recording session. Liernia. Oh. What's up, boys? And the wizard's already... Oh, no he's not. Okay. Fuck me. Of course I got caught on the fucking rocks. I literally turn to look at the goat and there's a Kevin behind me with rivers of blood. Like there always is. I was watching the goats roll by, man. Watching the goats roll by. I don't actually know how that song goes. Okay, bye. They did not want to fight me. <laughs> Damn it. Is that what this is going to be now? The game's telling me I've had enough invasions for today. Sometimes it does that. Sometimes it'll just fog while you 5, 10... It broke again! What the fuck? There they are. And I don't think they saw me either. Oh. I'm fine. No, don't interrupt my shit. Oh fuck. Oh, that's an overleveled phantom right there. You would. <laughs> the double point down. Funny shit. See, that's why I love this game. 
all the players outside of invaders are just and even some invaders are just totally out of touch like that's one of the funniest bits about being an invader in general is you get to see what people are really like you get to see how they handle things when they're at their worst I don't think I can warp out of here can I Oh, I can. Sweet. You get to see people's goofy memes. You get to see people fucking trying their hardest. You just get to see it all as an invader. And that's what's so funny is fucking... When you've really seen basically everything you will see from this game, fucking... That's when you start to notice the patterns and how people behave and what kind of people are what kind of people, you know? Like those guys we had a couple episodes ago who I had to literally sit and wait out for like half an hour or more because all they were going to do was run up and gank me and do nothing else. Their whole thing was they wanted to sit there and wait for invaders to show up into their world just so that they could fucking gank them down with their high level phantom. And there's nothing really wrong with that. I just really think it's funny when they think they're super good players because they beat someone in a 2v1. Yeah. But yeah, I never get mail from people who are like, Oh my god, you beat our whole team. That was awesome. We had a whole thing set up and everything and you just demolished it. I never get that. And I have wrecked some 3v1 or some 1v3s once or twice. Not super often. In fact, I usually lose those. But sometimes you fucking tear them down. You know, you have the right circumstance, or there are enemies, or even just you caught them by surprise can be enough, you know? Wow, again with the fog wall. So all I've had in the last six invasions were fog walls and ganks. I'm just looking for a fun fight, man. If I can't find one, then I guess we'll uh, move on to the PvE. The Abandoned Cave. Oh. Well, hello. Nice! See, that was a pretty bad time for those guys, but I happened to catch them at exactly the right moment and I'm not gonna pass up some souls when I need them. I happened to know exactly where we were and was like, okay, well this seems like a good scenario for this. And I did it. And it worked out. I don't know if the Phantom just wasn't paying attention or what happened, but you know, we saw an opportunity and we took it. And unfortunately, sometimes that's all you can do. Because we were right in front of the fog wall anyway. All that was going to happen was I was going to get fog walled again. They might fight me in the fucking Scarlet Rot field, but I really doubt it. And even then, that's not really a place I wanted to fight, so... <laughs> Ooh. Huh? Where in the fuck? Are they down there? Nope. Nope, they're not. They're not down there. Is that a red? No. Well, this is a predicament. Interesting. Nope, thank you. I'm not super interested in that. Oh, fuck. You have rot too. Interesting, interesting.
Fuck. Ah, the damn wall got in the way. He would. Fucking Melania here with her daggers. I think there's a bonfire. You know what? Isn't Flame of the Red Mains right here somewhere? Nice. Hey! Hello. You seem to be missing some HP, sir. But if you want to fight in that condition, then that is your decision. Damn it. GG. See, like that kind of thing, I don't have much problem with when it's just a single host. The only issue I have with them is they're kind of a waste of time. Like, the people who are fucking training for the arena, you're not gonna have fun fights with invaders. I mean, you might. Some invaders are really fucking high end on their fundamentals and. Did it actually break? It literally broke on the first try. Wow. Uh, some invaders are really tight on their fundamentals and know exactly what the fuck they're doing. Like, I have a pretty solid idea my fundamentals are decent. They need work, and I will admit that. I've been noticing that, actually, more and more. Uh, but the problem is I don't have anybody to fucking train with. So, it's either go into the arena until I figure out how to get better, or fucking keep doing this. And this is what I find more fun by a long shot. Uh... Okay. Hi, boys. Wow, that actually hit me. Poison you. Maybe I poisoned him right at the beginning or something. Uh, that was close, but not great. My plan almost worked, but unfortunately I couldn't make good on getting the guy alone. He kept fucking coming at me with his goddamn jump attacks. And it's like, they're not that bad, but fucking... They have, uh... They have phantom range on them. Which means that fucking... If I poke you like this then you would expect only the part of the weapon that reaches out and touches you to hit you. But, fucking, if there's phantom range, which there are on jumping dual greatswords, then it might hit just a little bit in front of there, and that happened like three times, which is fucking obnoxious. And there's nothing, you know, he, uh, he couldn't do anything about that. It's just the build that he was using and the fact that we had the smallest bit of latency. Like, it, it wasn't bad. We didn't have a bad connection at all. It was just a little latent, which is something you expect when you play online. Oh, Noxtella! Interesting, I don't think I've... No, I have unlocked this place. Okay. That's right, because fucking... I 
don't know where my hostie is. These guys are still here. So they're probably deeper in the level, yeah? Although they could be using the river to descend. Yeah, it kind of looks like they are. Yeah, the ball's up here. Yeah, they're definitely down there. Why would it put me all the fucking way up there? Really? I'm basically where I fucking warped from. This game sometimes. You know what? I'm actually gonna warp again. I don't care. I am literally further away. What the fuck? And I'm in the same fucking spot. God damn it. Sometimes this game is the fucking worst. It literally took me further away. When they've definitely gone down the elevator here, and it should bring me down to the next area where fucking Blythe is, but nope. Can't do that. I'm waiting to get over there and have it tell me that fucking... Oh, you can't use the elevator right now. There is no elevator. Right. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm... I really don't care right now. Yippee. The Academy. That's weird. I'll see the marker. And I don't see the host either. Oh, they're over there. Okay. I think I hear them. There they are. Nothing I was gonna do about them. No way! And it broke again. Oh my word. Yeah, Elden Ring is not having this episode right now. It is not pleased with me. The capital. Are they down fighting the thing? Oh, they are? Who that? That's the host. Hey there, big boy. Really, the boss is doing more damage to me than my enemies. Awesome. What the fuck, dude? And again, the boss did more damage to me than the enemy. Like, it knows I'm on its side, right? Ooh, 
village of the Albinoris. Cool. Hey! Of course somebody has Merica's hammer, why wouldn't they? Oh my fucking... Madness. Yeah, no. Thanks. Don't want that. Imagine. My dude can sit there and roll all fucking day with me poking at him. But fucking one guy comes in with his bullshit and fucking nope. Oh my god. And dragon breath too, because there's no other way this can go. Ever. Really? It knocked me off that tiny little ledge. Oh my fucking god. You know what guys? I think I'm just about fucking done. I'm not gonna lie to you. The literal levels themselves are telling me that that's enough for fucking today. I, I genuinely can't believe that. I got stuck on the geometry twice and fucking got knocked off the ledge like that. That teeny tiny, less than the height of my boot ledge. Crazy. Actual fucking insanity. Yeah, Elden Ring is trying to tell me it's had enough of me. But you know what? I haven't had enough of it and I'm not fucking giving up until we get one more level. I don't care if it takes us the rest of the night to finish this episode, I will do it. Oh, interesting. Were they able to go inside? Uh... What the fuck? Really? Like, genuinely? Maybe they're not in there. Maybe they're up on top. I'm gonna try going up, even though it's gonna take fucking forever. Can I even cross this gap without torrent? I'm not 100% sure. I know you can cross it one way, I just don't know if you can cross it coming back. Oh yeah, I can. I'm sorry guys, I try not to get tilted in this kind of thing, but fuck me. That last invasion really put some salt on it for me. Oh, they are up here. Yeah. 
You're out of FP, homie. What? No fucking way. Yeah, I'm starting to think the game's telling me, fuck you, you're getting less level by the end of the episode. It's not happening. But it's like, I can't do more PvE stuff until I get rid of these souls. And fucking, I don't want to go spend them on upgrades right now when I'd rather fucking just level up. Really? Down the cliff from another one? You see, this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying the game actively tells you stuff with how it does things. I have to go all the fucking way around, and then all the way up this big hill, and then I have the right to fucking challenge the host. Hey! You guys are actually hanging out up here doing honest 1v1s. Nope, not honest. Not honest even a little bit. because I used it on fucking retaliation. Just you and me now, hosty. I need to get my stamina back. He's going to resummon, motherfucker.
Is he running for a cliff? Like, you know there were cliffs to your left, right? Yeah, he does not want to engage. He's definitely looking to resummon. Interesting. I never find players here. Oh, you don't say. I think he can hurt me, though. He can. He can hurt me. What the fuck? That guy is skipping away from me so- What the fuck? Where is that coming from? Now you're gonna get fucking wrecked, buddy. What the fuck? They're up there. I see him. And there's at least two of them. Oh. Now there's probably three. Wait, what? I'm gonna keep going this way just to see what I can see. Dude, get out of the way. Oh my fucking god, they dropped down. Hey. Hi. Hey. See, that's that's what I forgot since the last time I played this, is I have to fucking go for the kill every time. And it sucks. I kind of hate that. I don't like when I'm forced to do it one way. I've gotten 3,000 souls in my last hour of invading. This is crazy. Meanwhile, three episodes ago, we got fucking four levels in one go. Wait, is this the Commander Nial boss fight? Oh shit, it is. I just heard someone die. It was the fucking host. And he wasn't worth shit. Because of course he wasn't. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, sure, that was one player having bad luck at a specific moment. But the game gave me that player. As well as his team. And there was zero chance I was going to just end any of them in the length of time that it took for that host to die. He literally died in like four seconds. I swear to you, the game has a presence of mind and knows what the fuck it's doing. Wait, is it? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. It is just the host. Well, I'm gonna let them fight that thing.
Could I fuck him up while there's a giant lion man fighting him? Probably. Am I gonna though? Nah. Be kind of mean, honestly. Yes, let's do this. Oh, fuck. He's got fucking quick step on that thing. That wasn't actually what I wanted to do. There we go, that was. Where's your hair's rapier? I'm having some trouble finding it. You know what I fucking need is hyper armor. GG. That was fucking close. See my hostie's marker. Oh, because he's right there. Hey! Um. Hello. I see your friend is AFK. Excuse me while I take his juice. GG, hosting. GG. You attempted to defend your friend, and I respect that. Oh my god, the Phantom was overleveled. It just gave it to me. Holy shit. To be fair, I deserve that after the long, horrible fucking expanse it has been since we got a decent fucking couple of kills. It has been a weird, weird day for Elden Ring Invasions, let me tell you guys. Yeah, let's just put it into Arcane. Um, let's go spend the rest on item upgrades because I'm just... I can't, I can't sit here and do this anymore. It's been so long. I've been invading at least an hour and a half in this episode alone. 
And I need a break. I haven't eaten, I literally haven't eaten anything today. I think I'm gonna go downstairs and make some toast. That sounds nice. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit like the success rate for the Nagakiba is much lower than it has been for Roger's. I wanna upgrade this. I need to clean this up, actually. I've got so much crap in here. We need 1,600, so we need like 200 more. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna clean up our inventory, and then we will... Go do just a little bit of PvE. Not much. Cause I need I need to stop, guys. I actually need to. My brain is so angry at me right now. You don't even know. So angry. Alright. PvE time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to this. And switch them over again. There we go. Go dual rapiers again. Cause that seemed like it had a much higher success rate. Although I think next episode I'm gonna try out Black Flame Tornado and see how it goes for us. Cause we won't have the most damage on it. But we will have some. Go away. Oh, we can get the Lord of Blood's Exaltation here. Yeah, we should definitely get that. Because now that I'm thinking about it, we actually don't need this on anymore. In fact, we should probably swap it with that so that we maximize... Ooh, or that. There we go. That'll give us some good damage. Oh wait, shoot, I'm totally headed the way of Moog, out of habit. Fuck. Um, well, that's okay. I'll just make my way there first, and then after that, we'll, um... We'll head over to fight Edgar, I think? Alright. So we've opened the path to Moog, we just have to hit up this bonfire. Well, let's go back up, and then we'll go down to fight Edgar, or whatever his name is. Not the Revenger, the, the guy who has the Lord of Blood's exaltation. Oh fuck. Yep. Oh, that's Moog Shackle. Really? You cued my fucking jump? My god. Oh my god, we actually fucking made it. Jesus Christ. That took me at least six tries. Holy fucking shit, I've never had that much trouble getting here. Are you ready for the worst fucking dungeon in this game? Me too. Oh my fucking Christ! Oh, it's Eskar! Fucking- Oh my god! Oh my- Really?
Oh my Christ. Christ, that shouldn't have been anywhere near that fucking difficult. But I'm already so frustrated that it's just affecting my mentality, guys. But there, we got the Lord of Blood's exaltation. So now, if we cause enemies to bleed, we will get a boost, we will get a buff from that. Which is excellent, considering our main hand weapon has bleed on it. So. I'm gonna call that there guys. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I really apologize for getting so tilted, but uh, you know, just a mix of circumstances in the day. I'm kind of stressed out. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a great day. Bye bye If you'd like to support me with more than just a subscription on YouTube, you can do so by buying, reading, or listening to one of the audiobooks or the actual physical or ebook copy of one of my books in my book series, Godly, about demigods in ancient Greece in a world where all pantheons of gods coexist. I like to describe it as a combination of Dragon Ball, Harry Potter, and Avatar The Last Airbender in a world that's very based on mythology. So if you find yourself interested, there are links in the description, and you can watch and listen to the audiobook right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye